What's up guys, it's Tay, and today I have a first look at the Modern Warfare 2 PlayStation Beta. I am playing on a PS4 with a ducky keyboard and a Logitech Superlight Pro mouse. Yes, you can play keyboard and mouse, thankfully, because I am so bad at controller. <laughs> but I'm just gonna get right into some gameplay and pros and cons. First of all, these maps are absolutely gorgeous. We get four original maps in this beta that are all super colorful, filled with art, really great architecture. It feels amazing just to run around and look at these maps alone. Another thing that I'm really enjoying is all the satisfying sounds, the reload, the weapon inspect, the YYs. They're all really familiar and nice to listen to. Uh, another thing that's going really well is the player base. You can tell that Call of Duty really spent a lot of time and money getting this beta out there. You don't run into the same people. There's a huge watching base on Twitch and YouTube as well. So that's just a huge W. Also, the fact that they gave us the M4 and the MP5 off rip is super awesome. I think actually the MP5 got taken away tonight, but hopefully they give us it back next weekend in the PC beta. For the most part, all of these weapons are viable, which gets me into my list of cons. Unfortunately, the snipers were just neglected again. The fact that they made it so we have to wait until the PC beta to level up the snipers and put attachments on them is just a little bit disappointing. Obviously, a lot of people still were able to get content with this super slow ADS speed, but I think they, I don't know, maybe could have given us that for this weekend. Another con is that the TTK is just way fast. Even shooting at people's feet, they will die super fast. That coupled with the no enemy nameplates makes this game feel like hardcore, which makes it so people are crouch walking in corners holding angles because it's a game of who gets into whose scope first rather than who can, you know, get shot at, see someone and rotate or movement on them. It's a little bit disappointing even coming from someone who used to play a ton of hardcore. I wish that maybe they had the core and hardcore modes. I'm hoping to see a difference in the full release and that this was just the way that the beta runs. All in all, I'm really enjoying the beta and I would probably give the PlayStation 1 a 7 out of 10. And most of those points were deducted because there were no enemy plates. Um, that was my number one thing. Like I'm so used to seeing those enemy nameplates. I even would center my crosshair like at the center of enemy nameplates. So it's really weird to not see those in core mode and couple with that fast TTK. Yeah, that's a couple points docked for me, but I'm looking forward to the PC beta next week and I will see you guys then. All right, bye.